Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Coleman, and I'm going to walk you through an introduction today for guerrilla leadership, winning asymmetric leadership, and what we mean by that. The next iteration is all about leadership. Uh, many of you who have followed me during the past years know that I've been working with the Flow Leadership Framework now for well, about a little over seven years, coming up on eight years here real quick, uh, since about 2014, when we rebranded from the Unified Vision Framework to the Flow Leadership Framework. So this is a natural outgrowth from everything that we've been doing for the last two or three years. And we are now moving to a new brand of guerrilla leadership that we'll be using moving forward. This quote I absolutely love, only three things happen naturally in organizations, friction, confusion, and underperformance. Everything else requires leadership. It's Peter Drucker that said that. And it's a great quote. The thing is, is that many of these things are a symptom of asymmetry, asymmetry in power, asymmetry in communications, asymmetry in capabilities, and so on. We'll get into that in some other videos here in the very near future. So why guerrilla leadership? Well, just like in flow, we want to get everybody moving in the right direction and loving it. Every company wants to create a culture that unites people and that accelerates their value delivery. There isn't an executive out there that doesn't want that. Now, we do this by unleashing awesome people to continuously deliver value. And we do that through eliminating friction. Well, to eliminate friction, you'd better be able to measure it. And we have all of the tools to do that. And to show you, here are the friction, the negative friction, and here's how we can either mitigate or eliminate that. And when you do that, you're gonna get remarkable results. And to do that, you better have a clear, crisp vision. And that way, the vision accelerates your leadership, which hopefully will then reduce the confusion because your communication is going to get better. And it will help you address all of the asymmetries, and you'll be able to do asymmetrical leadership using the mindsets and getting everybody aligned so that you can accelerate that value delivery. And you can only do that if everybody's working together. Ultimately, if we do those first two or three things correctly and in parallel, we will help both individuals and teams and products, programs, and processes, and then from the portfolio on up through the whole organization, help them all to step into a sustainable state of high performance and to stop underperforming. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit here, people. And one of the side benefits is you're going to have team members that are, support each other and that are loyal to each other. We've got case studies for this. And the great thing is you can duplicate the outcomes. If you want to see examples, data statistics, success stories, it's all on my website. It's recorded in our first two books, Nehemiah Effect and Flow. It's in our uh, training that we do for all of the certification type training and just general training that we do, along with the blogs and other videos that we've done, along with all of the studies and everything. How do we do this? It's train, coach, and mentor, train, coach, and mentor. And so we, we start with the individuals and teams and help them learn how to step into a sustainable state of high performance and how to deliver remarkable results and it's train coach and mentor train coach and mentor and then it's the same on the product side in the program side uh, on the management side we guide the engagement for your teams and your products and your services and the results that you want to deliver so it involves coaching and then we've got the battle scars to help mentor at the leadership level to help shape and form 
both the vision and the culture that will actually allow awesome people to accelerate what it is you're trying to do. We do this through 18 mindsets that we have. And we're going to look at uh, this one over here with the number 13. It starts with number one over here. But number 13 is the 4A model. And this is one of the key models that we use for delivering high performance. So we come in, we assess, and we, we assess the individuals, teams, organization processes. We look at the vision for each of these. And then as we assess, we look at, okay, what, it is, what is it that we need to align to distill agreement to get everybody on the same page? If we get these first two steps correct, then we can start to activate the individuals and teams to uh, higher levels of performance. And eventually, when we do this iteratively, we'll be able to accelerate everybody into sustainable high performance. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, if you'd like a copy of this presentation, want to chat, you got some questions, feel free to reach out at, to me at andrewcoleman.com. Link up with me on LinkedIn. I'd be happy to chat and look forward to chatting with you all again in the future. Thanks.